When it comes to creating a community platform on WordPress, up until very recently, there were no good options that weren't super dated or extremely limited in what they were capable of. Now I've moved my entire community and all of my courses inside of Fluent Community, so I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at how it operates and some of the really awesome features that I've come to love. Before we jump in, I wanted to mention that Fluent Community is similar to a product like Circle.so. It's kind of a discussion area and course platform built together, and it is a little bit separate from your actual WordPress install. Although Fluent Community is a WordPress plugin, when you drop it into your site, it kind of adds this whole like portal area that's separate, all the configuration happens over there. So there isn't much that your theme or your existing site styling does. In fact, I actually set up my community on community.jonathanjernigan.com on a subdomain. And then all of the WordPress pages, if you're not an administrator, just forward you to the portal area for the community itself. There's tons of configuration that we're not gonna get into in this video because you can go check that out yourself. This is great for me because I don't wanna run a community on a Facebook group or a Discord channel. I don't own any of the data. I don't have any control over it. And long-term, that mass of knowledge could just simply be deleted from your control in any of those other platforms. So that's the reason why Fluent Community, to me, was just such a great way to move forward. And some of the small things like my course lessons all have an, a common area underneath them. And then, of course, the ability to charge for access to specific discussion areas or single courses or any combination and all access pass, whatever you want to do, all of that can be done as well. And I'm going to show you how I've achieved that here in this video. So when you first log into the community, you're presented with a feed system. So this is just kind of like a social feed. It groups all of your discussion areas into one so that you can see what are the most recent posts. And of course, you can see that I just made a post a few minutes ago that's inviting my community members to a live build session I'm going to do later this week. And then you, know, you just continue scrolling. There's a post from two hours ago from another community member talking about background removal tools. And then if you wanted to segment things down, you could go into further discussions in these discussion areas. So these are just channels that you can create. You can have as many of these as you want. So you can see I've tried to group them to make sense. If you want to talk about ACF and dynamic data, you would click into this one, DNS and hosting, etc. Then all of my paid courses are down here as well. So we can either click on this courses button up in the main menu to see kind of this main area, or we could click inside of the actual course itself. So if I click in, then I can see, okay, cool. Here are my modules. I can come inside here. Then you can see this is what it looks like when you're working inside of the course modules. You can just kind of navigate your way through the different areas here. And there's even a lesson discussion area down here at the bottom, which has comments. So users can comment on the individual lessons, which is awesome. My previous course platform did not have any kind of comments in that section. So this is really, really cool. Another really awesome thing from the perspective of engagement is the idea of notification. So how do you keep community members engaged when you're outside of the places they're already going, like Facebook communities? That's the trade-off. Well, Fluent Community does a really good job at engaging people through email notifications. So like that new post I showed you just a minute ago, I got an email notification here, and this is just basically exactly like that post appears in the community. So I basically get a preview of this and then I can click that join the conversation button. And what's cool about that is it has an automatic login function. So you're not forcing your community members to log in. That's a toggle you can change if there's more sensitive information. But in my case, I do want people to be able to super easily get in and engage with the conversation. And on that topic of notifications, you also have the option to enable a weekly digest that will go out to all community members. So here on my kind of development test account, you can see that it's sending me some notifications for some posts I might have missed. And that's really cool because depending on what the user engaged with, their digest is going to look a little bit different. So this is super awesome to keep people engaged. I noticed that when this goes out, I have it configured on Fridays. You can choose any day of the week. When those go out, I see a spike in engagement and people kind of come in with those weekly digests. So it's a super powerful feature that I really, really like. Now, coming back inside the community, in my case, I have a couple different ways that you can join the community. Either I have the all access pass, which is just a monthly subscription and you get access to all the discussion areas and each of the courses here, or you can buy the individual courses, which just give you access to that specific area and nothing more. And so I needed a way to be able to configure that automatically. So depending on what path they take to get into the community, I needed it to automatically assign the right space and course. And because this is part of the Fluent ecosystem, Fluent CRM ties into this perfectly. So what I have set up here in the back end of this site, because of course this is all based on WordPress, 
is just a series of automations. So these are pretty self-explanatory. If they get added to the tag of CSS Made Easy Owner, then they get access just to that course. If they refund and the tag gets removed, then it's gonna remove them from the course. Then for example, I have the all access pass. So it's gonna go through in the steps of that automation and just basically give them access to all the discussion areas and all the courses. So this is all automatic and ties right into Fluent Forms. So depending on where that comes in, then it's going to automatically you know, apply and remove the correct tags accordingly. This also works if they already have an account. So like for instance, if somebody already owns Generate Made Easy, they have just the course and they decide to subscribe to the All Access Pass, it's going to automatically open up all the spaces and just skip the account creation process. So really cool. It has taken me some time to get all of these automations and the forms set up, but now that it's in place, I essentially don't have to touch it. Now, in terms of actually creating posts in the community, that feels just like any other system, kind of like a Facebook post, you give it a title, a description, you can upload images, add embeds, and you can add polls. And then as an admin, I have the option to send an email announcement so that it essentially pushes a notification via email out all to all the space members. So like for instance, in the Generate Press chat over here, when I open Generate Made Easy, Last week, I went ahead and pushed that announcement because of course all those people are gonna to wanna to know that that course was now available. Now, another really cool thing to handle kind of the media aspect of this, as your community grows, you could have tons of images and just lots of content on your site that you probably don't want to burden your WordPress media library with. And Fluent Community has integrations with, with things like Cloudflare R2. This is a really great way to automatically offload all the media into Cloudflare and they store it there. You get 10 gigabytes for free. And then after that, it's super duper cheap. And of course, Cloudflare has a pricing calculator. So you're probably not gonna be storing 10 terabytes. Let's say you're storing 50 gigabytes and you're definitely not going to be doing this many reads and writes. How much of your data do you need to transfer? We don't even need to do that. So let's just crank this down to like 25%. We're talking $24 a month for 50 gigabytes and a lot more transfers than you're actually going to need. So you could have hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes in here. Let's say 250, $27 a month. Let's say let's crank it up to 500 gigabytes. We're talking 30 bucks a month for 500 gigabytes of storage. That's insane. If your community is that huge, then $30 a month is absolutely nothing. So there's lots of really well thought out integrations like that. And of course, this being a part of the Fluent ecosystem, like I've already talked about, means that everything is just going to work together extremely nicely. Whether you're using Fluent Forms and you wanna add and remove tags based on the Fluent community integration, you can do that. Or like in my case, I'm using Fluent Forms Fluent CRM and Fluent Community and all that stuff just works together super cohesively. With all of that said, there is one small thing that is currently a bug I've reported that they've apparently fixed and will ship soon. And that's going to be the ability to at comment, you know, somebody uh, in a post and it send an email out. Currently that doesn't work, but the team has identified the bug and will be uh, fixing that soon. And the reason I bring that up is they are extremely responsive and really quick to fix things. So just in the first two months of me using this platform, they've already shipped multiple different updates that have introduced new features like the polls that I showed you. Creating a poll wasn't an option just a few weeks ago. And then tons of bug fixes, theme compatibility updates, and then like the whole block editor is now available in your course edit screen. So that's really great. It gives you tons of extra flexibility. And overall, the platform just feels really polished, really fast. And I'm super happy with how it turns turns out. As you can see, you know, I have nearly 200 people in various different channels and courses here already using this system. It's super reliable and I'm just hosting this on a simple two gigabyte Vulture server. So I've got tons of headroom left in terms of performance. Really happy with this. If you're interested in Fluent Community, use the link in the description below to go to their website. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.